Well, hi friends. It is a, another weekday in the Dakotas. Snow is melting. I think it's gonna be in the low 30s today. So it is March, um, but we still have some winter left for sure. We're gonna get another snowstorm next week. So I'm gonna do a little like spring cleaning inside, maybe fluff up a few more flowers, full flowers I have, like, add some tulips. Um, and then I gotta do a little more bathroom renovation work and just bring you on this probably gonna be a random day. So I hope you enjoy coming along on my day in the life of what we get done today. And I might give you a second trimester update a little bit too as well and what's been going on with that because I did hit my third trimester already. So not much longer until May comes around. But I got some laundry going and I am gonna write my plan down for the day. And I already got my Bible reading in. I get to do a little more um, Bible study, devotional reading. I'm doing a Bible study. Um, I'm hosting one actually at our little guest cottage with a few other ladies, not all from our church, just some random. And so I'm gonna do a little reading up on that too. But it's gonna be a wonderful day and I'm gonna bring you along with what our gir my girls and I do today. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. Go down, over, and then cross the middle. You have room for the H. The H is your last one. And that's H. I'm just going to put your H right next to your E. All right, so what I need to do in the bathroom here, the girls are eating a snack and then I'm gonna watch a short show actually. Um, we did a little reading and I've been working on some letters with Nevea and um, like some Bible scripture memorization, but I need to do some joint compound to fill in the holes because my husband just put up this MDF beadboard piece. I'll do a whole bathroom review later, but home projects, let me tell you, they take extra time and especially when you work a full-time job you have events in the evening so i gotta fill in these holes um and then we will get done that so my i can sand it and then maybe have to fill it again and then hopefully paint paint this because this is a like creamy white color so that's what i have here and this is going to be a little bit of color my vanity is a pop of color so that's why i made this bright if you remember my old bathroom hi it was blue with a dark gray tile. So this has brightened it up so much. So one thing, another thing with home projects in a small space, because we live in a thousand square foot home, if you didn't know, is that we put a lot of the extra supplies in our bedroom. So dusting the bedroom was needed because it just, yeah. oh, dust accumulates so quickly. Bathroom, it's like our bathroom in the middle, then our two bedrooms, and then I'm in the kitchen. So maybe someday I'll give you like a full house tour, someday. <laughs> I want to get some more house projects done before that happens. But you know, we dusted, we did a little laundry. I had like three baskets of laundry to go through. Now I am making a spring-like 
sourdough recipe, a lemon loaf. So I'm gonna use some sourdough starter I have. And I know a lot of you have been asking about my sourdough. So I might do like a week in the life of my sourdough. Let me know if that interests you or not. Cause um, yeah, I just, I've had it for three years, my same starter. But um, anyways, I'm gonna make this with maybe help from Nevea and then we'll see what else the day brings. It's 10.30, so we still have a good chunk of morning left and it's nice to cross those things off of my list in my planner. So bathroom is half done because I'll probably have to sand it here and put some more of joy compound. Some laundry's done and bedroom is dusted, so the bedroom being dusted is the only thing to really cross off my list. Sure, move your baby. Baby does not belong on the counter. Mix it. And I'll throw in some sugar. Yeah. Carefully. up girls are napping it's afternoon time here and I wanted to do a laundry style second trimester update for you so I know some of you enjoy hearing this because you are pregnant or you have family that's pregnant or um, you are wanting to have babies so anyways second trimester recap when you're seeing this I am 29 weeks along I think so uh, first part of the second trimester I shared this before, I was still nausea, had nausea, um, very tired up till 14 weeks and then the rest of it was great until I hit about, I want to say it was like 20 weeks along. I um, started getting some pelvic pain just at certain times and this is something that I feel like some people don't talk about as much. Like we know it all happens because we're women, we're having babies, but a pelvic floor is so important with um, having babies and even before, like leaking when you sneeze, uh, leaking when you run or exercise, like that shouldn't be happening. I have started seeing a pelvic floor therapist and I think any woman should go to them. So I have um, some family history of prolapse in my family and so I want to get this figured out because it is causing some pain and some issues and I think it's very important if I want more children, um, if I want to be able to exercise well and um, just live a normal life without feeling like I'm gonna have to change my pants or leak or whatever, um, I want to take care of this and so I have started seeing one who is a little ways away from where I live. She's in Orange City, Iowa, actually. And so she has an Instagram too. I can link down below for you because she does a lot of like daily updates and um, exercises that you can do to help your own pelvic floor all for free just on Instagram. So I started seeing her and I think it's gonna be very beneficial. So that's something that I didn't think I'd ever have to worry about. Like we all get pelvic pain if we carry lower. Um, I also carry high, so I get rib pain. I don't carry low, I carry high. So I didn't think I'd have pelvic floor issues this pregnancy at all because I'm carrying high, like I usually do. But I ended up having an issue and so I've had to do some therapy with it and it's just a lot of doing it on your own, working on the inner core, like the breathing and stretches that will help as well. So 
yeah, that's part of what's been going on with that. And hopefully I can get it figured out so that birth is smoother and um, after postpartum is smoother because I definitely, I definitely had a great birth experience with my second, but I wanna make sure this one is really wonderful too, if I can. And so that is just important. And I recommend, like I said, any pelvic floor strengthening um, and even seeing someone because we might think we're doing Kegels right, but a lot of us are not. So I learned that too. Besides that, which is a big part of the second trimester, like my rib pain, I think it was kicked out last week. And so the only thing I could sit on was my exercise ball. Even when I was working on my blog or YouTube, um, sitting down to eat, I would sit on my yoga ball because sitting on a couch or chair, it just was instant pain. So I wanted to make sure I didn't have that. And so I went to and did chiropractic care. I think I'm gonna get a, be getting a massage next week. Just things to help my body stay in line, um, do the best I can with it for giving birth. And so I just think that's important for us as mamas and pregnant women to take care of ourselves. And yes, I do pick up my little ones. I walk outside with them in the snow and carry them. Um, and I do pick up heavy things sometimes. So I know there's just things to be aware of as well. So also, I haven't, I haven't really like changed my diet because I try to eat pretty well anyways, but I have upped my protein. So instead of one egg in the morning, I'll have two with uh, maybe a little toast and some, um, some sourdough toast and some of my mixed veggies. And then I'll make sure like for a snack, I'll have some yogurt in the afternoon. Um, I'll eat a full serving of my chicken or beef or whatever it is that I have. Just upping that protein is so important since I'm feeding another little one. And try not to eat as much for carb because I don't think I need to have that as much as protein because you're growing a little one. And I'll be having my glucose test here next week as well. So not at the 28 week mark like they typically recommend, but 29 weeks close enough and I'm seeing my midwife and so I'll be able to take a natural glucose test instead of that what everyone says is that yucky sugar drink that the hospitals give you so that'll be coming up I'm not too worried about that I didn't have it with my others but if I do it's manageable with diet so I'm hoping that that passes with flying colors so that's really my pregnancy update I got this load of laundry done Yay, I have one more to fold. I am gonna sand the rest of the wall now in the bathroom. And then um, I'm gonna make a shepherd's pie, I think with sweet potato. Um, a lot of you probably know it as cottage pie, but I'm gonna do the cheater version. I have some frozen ground beef that I already pre-cooked in the freezer. I'm gonna use a mixed bag of frozen veggies, maybe ham it up with something else, some canned tomatoes or something. Very simple because when I have Bible study night um, and it starts at seven, I wanna make sure supper is easy and clean up is pretty easy. So that I think is the plan for what I'm doing for supper tonight. And I'll go um, start sanding the wall in the bathroom here. And then I'll probably also work on my blog a little bit. So if you didn't know, I do have a blog. It's davykillian.com. So I do updates on just different things from maybe a vlog or um, my last one was a sourdough applesauce bread that I made and I do have like my cleaning routine on there. Just more detail, I can get into more depth on it. And so if you're interested in that, definitely go check that out and subscribe so you get the weekly update that I send out to your email. But anyways, I'll quit chatting here so you can see the rest. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little decorating, rearranging here. These three wire shelves, I always change out for season and I'm struggling here for spring. So I got this clock um, because I removed our large clock that was very farmhousey from above our TV. And so I just had it sitting in there. But if you can tell like the metals clash and then I have that metal. I have very mixed metal desire. But I kind of want like a rustic cottage. I don't know, a farmhouse cottage. I don't want like Victorian type cottage. Um, 
so I, I don't know I'm really playing with what I have here so I'm gonna try to work on this a little bit for a little bit longer um, and see what I can figure out I pulled out another package of tulips I had here let me just show you okay so I ordered another package of tulips that are Mandy's on Amazon and then I pulled up another crock from my basement I recently found this crock at a thrift store this piece of iron stone which I was so excited about I'll have to do a probably another thrift haul and then I've had this pitcher that I love because it's so pale pink just so springy that I'll probably put back where I usually do but so I'm gonna work with some of those maybe pull up some of my other pieces I have too while I um, think about how to decorate this here I have my beef that I had frozen I already have sweet potatoes I'll just mash them maybe add a little butter I already added some salt and then I'm seriously just gonna use these maybe add in some extra peas and some I have extra marinara sauce in the fridge I'm gonna throw that in there just kind of make it up and add some Italian seasonings like some fresh rosemary from my plant here um, some basil Italian seasoning and that will probably be supper. but it really wants me to get to gardening but my gardens usually are right back here still covered in snow I have some seeds started though which has been inside. nice inside yeah I'll be starting my tomatoes and peppers here probably later this week or next week give them about eight weeks till our first um, end of frost date um, so with that said more snow still in the forecast it is beautiful out 30 degrees um, still uh, melting the snow because the sun came out and so we're just gonna spend some time outside for a little bit we walked took a little walk in the stroller and just got some fresh air so now we'll spend a little time outside before it's supper time is it kind of muddy I put that up that one that's out. fine there lots of snow still left isn't there okay so I'll share my seed starts here real quick I did start broccoli and snapdragons and cabbage like three weeks ago so they actually need to be transplanted into bare containers and then i started some parsley you actually saw that in a video and some cilantro my cilantro is coming up so i was so excited that's all i was hoping for i'll probably need to transplant that too because it's already like three inches and then some more snapdragons because i love snapdragons and i can share those if I need to as well. So I need to spread them a little bit more here. Keep them wet and then later this week I'll plant some tomatoes and peppers. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I wanted to finish out my day for you as it is a new day. Um, the Bible study I had was over the Mom Set Free book. I talked about this before. It's so refreshing for the mom soul just to let go of the pressures of the world um, and, you know, parent open handed. So, towards Christ. So, I wanted to just catch up with you because we were, it's about a two hour study from like seven to nine. It's not all ladies from our church. I opened it up to a few other of my outside of our church friends. So it's a small, close-knit group, which is nice. And some of them don't know each other. So that's also kind of neat too, because then we'll get to just um, grow together as a group, which I think is so important as believers in Christ. So it is, like I said, a new day, a new morning, and I'm gonna enjoy my coffee. Girls are playing right now. I'm gonna go enjoy some time with them. I hope you enjoyed coming along on my day yesterday with just a day in the life of a stay-at-home mom, homemaking, some outdoor time, some food, a fun sourdough treat, cleaning, all the things. I didn't get a lot of cleaning done, but that's okay. I'll have another day to do cleaning and I am in the nesting mode, I can tell. So I'll probably be doing deep cleaning here and there throughout the next few months and sharing some of that with you. But I will talk with you in the next one.